What's going on, power users? Extreme here, back with another video. Have you ever wondered how to stress test your CPU after an overclock? Or did you just try to undervolt your CPU and want to test system stability? Stick around. Let's find out how to do that. Welcome back. As I was saying in my intro, if you Google how to stress test my CPU, you'll be met with all kinds of software answers. But what is the best answer? Is it Prime95 or A to 64? Or even the Intel burn test? Well, what about OCCT? So many to choose from. But before we get into that, if you like this video and my other videos, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <coughs> Now we want to download a few applications to really get a feel for our overall system performance while we stress test. Hardware info. Okay, so we've gone to hardwareinfo.com and we're going to use this application to monitor our CPU temps. Let's click the download button here. Next, we'll open hardware info on our machine and locate the sensor panel like this. Minimize the main panel and push the sensor panel to the side like this. Now this video is all about Prime95 and the test system stability. So we've gone to Prime95's website. The link is in the description below. For those of you who aren't familiar with Prime95, it is a system stability test that uses the processor's integer and floating point instructions it feeds the processor a consistent and verifiable workload to test the stability of the CPU and the level 1, level 2, level 3 processor cache. Additionally, it uses all the cores of the multi-CPU, multi-core system to ensure a high load stress test environment. Wow, say that 10 times. Okay, once you have that downloaded and extracted, You'll be greeted with a startup screen that asks you to join GIMPs. But we just want a stress test. So click that button. Next, we'll be prompted to select with torture test to use. And these are called FFTs, or Fast Fourier Transformations. Now, we have a few options on this screen. First option is the smallest FFTs. Test level 1, level 2 caches, high power, heat, CPU stress. You have the small FFTs. Test level 1, level 2, level 3 caches, maximum power, heat, CPU stress. Then you have large FFTs. Stresses memory controller and RAM. Then you have the blend. I typically stay with the blend option. Before we hit the OK button, we want to make sure that the number of cores of torture test equals the available cores on our CPU. It's going to be different for everybody, but in my case, I have 10 cores. And I'm also going to check use hyperthreading. Next, we can hit that like button. A good rule of thumb is to let this run for 24 hours when testing and overclock stability. If it concludes with no errors, chances are you have a stable overclock and you're ready to game. Okay. That'll do it for this video. Hit the like button, and if you're new to my channel, subscribe, and ring that bell notification to get all my latest videos. Until next time, Extreme out.